geometry students, in this video we will be looking at the area of circles and also the area of a given region of a circle, okay? So that's what we'll be doing today. Please take some really good notes. Your heading today is area of circles and regions, area of circles and regions of circles, okay? So we're going to find the area of circles and we're going to find the area of regions of circles. The lesson number is 11.6 and be sure and include today's date, all right? Always include today's date in your notes so that your notes are organized, okay? Be sure and include today's date. Now, let's start off with the simple, easy stuff first, which would be finding the area of a circle. So with that in mind, here is the formula for finding the area of a circle, all right? Area equals pi r squared. Area equals pi r squared. Copy that down, please. And let's go ahead and um, let's quickly practice. It's pretty simple. You guys have been finding the area of circles um, for probably since elementary school, but let's quickly practice one and find the area of the circle below, okay? <coughs> so here we go. I've given you a circle that has a diameter of 8. If I ask you to find the area of the circle, that means the area like this, all of the space that is inside the circle, all right? How much space is inside of that circle? That is what we mean when we say area of the circle, okay? Now, we're going to use this formula right here, pi r squared. Now, for pi, I'm going to substitute 3.14. For my radius, I'm going to substitute 4. Now, the reason I did that is 8 is the diameter. So divide 8 by 2, and you come up with 4. So the radius is 4. Next, obviously, and it's, it's, it's um, pretty obvious, but sometimes students still forget. They multiply 3.14 times 4 first, then take that number and square, and that's incorrect. You do your powers first. So what you have is 3.14 times 16, okay? And that will give you area of this circle, which is 50.24 square units. Alright, there we go. So, that is how you find the area of a circle. That should be pretty much old school for you guys. That's pretty simple to do, but I just wanted to practice one to make sure there was no confusion on that. Now, let's move on to finding the area of a given region within a circle, okay? Before we do that, though, you need to understand something. Please take some really good notes and please pay attention to this. You need to realize there are two different types of regions of a circle that we're going to look at, okay? So let's write these down. Let's make sure we understand them. I would encourage you to write these down and also write down the pictures I'm going to give you or the figures I'm going to give you to illustrate this, okay? And by the way, usually I make you memorize these definitions. You do not have to memorize these two definitions, okay? All right. First of all, one type of region within a circle is a sector of a circle. Now, when I say sector of a circle, here's what I mean. It is a region bounded by two radii and their intercepted arc. Now copy that down, please. Even though you don't have to know that, you want that, you'll want that in your notes, okay? You are not responsible for that. I'm not going to put that on a test or a quiz, but still copy that down, please. Sector of a circle, a region bounded by two radii and their intercepted arc. While, while you are copying that down, let me give you a picture of that, okay? Here's your circle. Here's two radii. This, and here's their intercepted arc. Here's the intercepted arc right there. Isn't that easy? Two radii. One, two. And here's the intercepted arc. So when I say a sector of a circle, I mean all of this area and the area in here. Got it? It's like a piece of a pie. Okay? So... Um, sector of a circle. There it is. Two radii. One, two, and the intercepted arc. 
and that is called a sector of a circle. That is one type of a region within a circle. So when I say a region within a circle, there's this type here, sector of a circle, and there's another type we're going to look at now, okay? So if I'm going too fast, pause the video. The next type is segment of a circle. Segment of a circle. Now, a segment of a circle is a region bounded by a chord, and it's intercepted arc. That's pretty easy. A region bounded by its chord and its intercepted arc. Now, you do not have to memorize this, but I would still encourage you to write it down. I'll wait a second while you do that, okay? A segment of a circle is a region bounded by a chord and its intercepted arc. So go ahead and copy this down, students. And also, by the way, if you want to make note of this, in fact, you need to write this down also. If, the, By the way, if the intercepted arc of a segment is less than 180, then it's called a minor segment. I would write that down also, okay? Copy these two things down, and then I'm going to give you a picture of this to make sure you understand exactly what we're talking about when we say a segment of a circle. A segment of a circle. Please copy this down, and please copy this down. Okay, if you're still copying those two things down, that's fine. Continue to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and give you a picture here of what a segment of a circle is. Now remember, a sector is when you have a radii, a radius, a radius, an intercepted arc, and this, the whole thing here is called a sector of a circle. A segment of a circle, a segment of a circle is when you have a chord, like that, that's a chord, and it's intercepted arc. There we go. So there's that region right there. That is called a segment of a circle, that right there. It's when you have a chord and it's intercepted arc. Okay? Now, if the intercepted arc is less than 180, by the way, this arc that starts here and goes to here, that's definitely less than 180. So any time the intercepted arc of a segment of a circle is less than 180, we call it a minor segment. So this, this whole area right here, this whole bounded area right here is called a segment of a circle. And this particular segment of a circle here would be called a minor segment because this arc right here is obviously less than 180, okay? Let all that sink in and, and make sure you're getting this, okay? Um, a region bounded by a chord and its intercepted arc is called the segment of a circle. All right, now, here we go. Let's try to find the area of a couple of these regions, okay? It's going to be difficult, so take really good notes and pay attention. Here's the first problem. I want you to find the area of the shaded region. Find the area of the shaded part. So go ahead and draw that in your note. This is supposed to be the center of the circle right here. I guess we'll call it circle A, all right? I want you to find the area of this shaded part. Now before we do that, I have a question for you. If I gave you a half a circle like this, if I shaded in half a circle, and I said find the area of that half a circle, you would know exactly what to do. You would find the total area, and then divide it by what? Two or you could multiply it by one half. Same thing. Wouldn't you? I mean, wouldn't you do that? Makes sense. If I asked you to find the area of this, um, remember, this is called a, um, well, actually, I probably 
always in use, for example, because we have a straight angle here. But nonetheless, nonetheless, um, if I asked you to find the area of this region right here, you would find the area of the whole circle divided by two. That's common sense. So guys, let's apply that common sense to this problem here. Let's find the area of the entire circle and then find out what fraction this is of the entire circle. For example, let me show you what I mean, okay? Do you see how this um, arc right here is 80 degrees? Well, we know the whole circle is 360. So what fraction of the circle is the shaded area? Well, 80 over 360. Cross off the zeros, divide by 2, or divide by 4, and you would get 2 ninths. So this entire shaded region is 2 ninths. It's not showing up very well. This entire region is 2 ninths of the entire circle. Now, think about it, guys. Let's find the total area of the entire circle, okay? Area equals pi r, that's radius, squared, pi r squared. So, I know 5 times 5 is 25. So, 
I have 3.14 times the radius squared. Well, 6 times 6 is 36, and 36 times 3.14 is 113.04. So let's, circ let's just kind of put that on the shelf for a second. <coughs> and we'll come back to that a little later, okay? So there's the area of the circle. Now, this entire red sector, this entire red sector right here, okay? What fraction of the circle is that entire sector right there? Well, the arc is 150 degrees, so that tells me I could take 150 over 360. Cross that off, divide by 3, we get what? 5 twelfths. So this entire sector, not the black part, this entire red sector is 5 twelfths of the area. So I'm going to take my area and multiply it by 5 twelfths. And let's see what that gives me, okay? 113.04 times 5 twelfths gives me 47.1 47.1 so this entire area this entire sector all through here that area is 47.1 now let's find the area of the triangle students and we can then um, subtract that out from this area right here and we should be doing pretty well now um, I did not forget to put this in it just wasn't very easy to see with all this black shaded area but this segment here is congruent to this segment here so when I tell you um, actually we don't need that right now anyway so I'm not going to worry about that but um, when I ask you to find the area of this triangle let me write the triangle down here just so it kind of stands out a little better. I'm going to write a little bigger to help you see it a little better. Draw this down. Put a 3 there. And there should have been a right angle right there. It is a height. Now, this whole bottom line all the way across this base is 12. Because it says right here, A, B is 12. So from A all the way to B, the length is 12. So I can very easily find the area of this triangle one half times the base times the height 18 is the area of this white triangle so if this entire sector is 47.1 the area which it is okay and the white triangle is um, 18 just take 47.1 minus 18 put a point zero there so So there is the area of the black region right here. So I found the area of the entire sector. Then I found the area of the triangle and subtracted it out, and we were done. I hope that makes sense, okay? Now, like usual, this video is pretty short. Your homework will be pretty challenging, so make sure you work hard. And I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call or email.